Well, um, a few things I think uh, stand out, Alicia. Um, among those things, one, she had uh, some nice things to say about the president, how in fact uh, his office has been very cooperative uh, throughout. Whenever she asks for stuff, um, she gets acknowledgement letters. And uh, even in her uh, informal, if you like, casual engagements with him, um, he's been very supportive of her role. I think uh, that's one of the things that stood out. In other words, making the distinction between the people she says are criticizing her, but also I think um, a, a, a suspicion, if you like, that's sort of uh, kept on gaining, has, has been uh, gaining ground over the years um, that uh, perhaps uh, President Zuma is not as cooperative as uh, he should be. Today, Tulima Tonzela says, actually, it's the exact opposite. Whenever she asks for things, those things are given. Uh, whenever she uh, communicates with that office, um, uh, her, her uh, communication is acknowledged and uh, processes or due process, processes are in fact followed, which I think was uh, was uh, quite a revelation. Of course, the other um, um, uh, interesting thing or something that also uh, came out quite forcefully, it is that she actually feels it is not, she feels rather that it is not the entire ANC or ANC leadership that is responsible for what she deems are attacks on her integrity, on her office and everything she has come to uh, represent. She believes that it is certain people and she believes believes that uh, it is the, in fact the, the ANC should actually uh, deal with those people because they are a threat I think, to the integrity of the organization but also uh, of our constitutional democracy. What Something else that was, I think came out quite forcefully is that she is not prepared to let go. She is not uh, withdrawing. Um, um, she is actually in it for the long haul. Uh, she is prepared to say what she feels needs to be said and she believes that she has every right and uh, she, she came up with all the uh, constitutional and legal um, 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 laws that, uh, and provisions that actually um, she believes uh, she has uh, that give her the powers that she has and she is not about to relent and she does believe that she is also, she says she's not above the law, she's not above the constitution and the parliament in fact she believes has every right to rein her in or to at least ask for explanations where they believe that she may have crossed certain boundaries or she's not doing the right thing. But before I let Alicia. you go now, have the general questions about the role of the public protector been answered in this briefing? Well, I mean, there are certain things that uh, have gone un un unanswered, but she has, um, quoting the relevant legislation, uh, sort of tried to say, this is my reading of the legislation, and if you believe that I've overstepped the mark, hey, you do have a recourse, and Parliament can uh, uh, seek some explanations. But with regard to such things as, for example, the leaks, she believes she's not responsible. Well, a lot of people, I think, will take issue with her on that, uh, because she believes that people... It's not her, it's not up to her to actually reveal the people who are responsible um, for the leaks. But the fact of the matter is that she is the one who said that it is a senior ANC person this time around who is responsible for the leak. I do think that uh, she did owe it um, to everyone to actually perhaps mention um, that person. And so that whoever uh, needs to follow up maybe with a legal process um, uh, can, can do so if that's something uh, that needs to be follow up, followed up uh, um, that way. But with respect to her powers, with respect to how she um, conducts her investigations and how generally she carries um, herself, um, she did, I think, try as far as she could mm. to actually answer uh, those questions. Well, All I right. suppose, I mean, the legal fundies and commentators have every right, I think, right, to bring it to the public's attention if they believe, for whatever reason, that she may uh, be overstepping her mark or that her interpretation All of right, the Vuyo. law is a wrong one. All right, that's SABC contributing editor Vuyom Voko coming to us live outside the public protector's office where she was giving a press briefing. We'll return in a short